computational thinking what is computational thinking computational thinking or ct is an approach to problem solving it involves the breaking down of a problem into smaller chunks working on them individually finally bringing them together to provide a solution to the problem in hand computational thinking is a fundamental skill that can be used by anyone irrespective of their disciplines humanities math and science its use is not restricted to computer science only it involves problem solving technique which includes logical reasoning finding step by step solutions and designing system in the final stage components of computational thinking computational thinking has five key components which are described here analysis it is the process of understanding the problem with the given conditions and constraints and defining the goals decomposition breaking down data processes or problems into smaller manageable parts for better understanding is called decomposition the smaller parts of the problem can be examined closely and solved individually pattern recognition observing patterns trends and regularities uniformities or similarities in data is called pattern recognition when the patterns are recognized it becomes easier to make predictions and create rules to solve other problems abstraction abstraction is the process of filtering out details or components of the problems to focus on the relevant ones algorithm design developing the step by step instructions for solving a problem and problems similar to it in order to finish the task let us understand in detail how we can solve a problem using the elements of computational thinking to do so we will consider the example of puja which was discussed before analyzing puja analyzed the problem that she needed to plan for a school trip to southern part of india Here the problem is to organize a school trip and the goal is to plan everything for the trip. Decomposition. Decomposition refers to breaking down the complex problems into smaller, more manageable chunks. It allows to assess the problem at hand and figure out all the steps needed to make the task happen. In case of Pooja, the decomposing will be to find out various places where they can visit. collecting information about each place arranging for rail or air tickets arranging lodging and boarding at different hotels arrangement of local transport safety and security of all inmates during the trip pattern recognition pattern recognition is simply looking for patterns in the puzzles and determining could any of the problems or solutions we have encountered in the past apply here what have we learned in the past that may help us sort out this problem if you have ever drawn group of similar pictures like a bunch of balloons you will understand the importance of patterns while drawing the first balloon it could have taken you much longer to draw than the fourth or fifth balloon when we repeat steps in our drawing we learn how to solve the instructions more quickly and learn from our mistakes the painstaking process of making that first balloon teaches us the skills to perform the process more efficiently in the future so pooja asks her mother for her experience and further searches on the internet she recognizes similarities between her goal and an existing procedure that experts or her mother have followed patterns exist among different problems and within the individual issues we need to look for both Patterns make our task more manageable because they help us to make predictions and use the same techniques that have been proven to solve similar problems in the past. No more. Though often confused with computer science, CT differs in being a way of thinking rather than necessarily involving the use of computers to study computation and its application. CT need not always involve the use of a programming language. whereas a computer science application would therefore one need not necessarily be a computer scientist or a computer science student to employ ct it is a skill that might benefit all abstraction abstraction focuses on essential features and avoids unnecessary complexity 
As in the previous example, while searching on the internet and talking to experts, Pooja finds that there are tour operators which not only plan but also provide her with some discounts which will bring the cost of the trip further down. Info Seymour Papert is credited with being the first to use the term computational thinking. He is a mathematician and co-founder of the Artificial Intelligence Lab at MIT. Algorithm Design Algorithm design is setting out the steps and rules needed to follow in order to achieve the same desired outcome every time. An algorithm employs logical thinking and involves bringing all of the previous elements together to design a solution. One algorithm can be applied to solve multiple problems with the similar pattern. The algorithm can be represented in the form of a flowchart or plain English text. Pooja will make the following algorithm to make her plan for the trip. Step 1. To find out various places where they can visit. Step 2. She looks into the places of interest on internet and locates those places on the map. Step 3. Collecting information about each place. Step 4. She checks what all places they can visit. She also analyzes the historical importance of the place, checks the connectivity with the rest of the country. Step 5. Arranging for rail or air tickets. Step 6. She searches for the shortest route available to reach that place. Checks availability of tickets for round trip. Checks whether air or train fare will be cheaper. Checks whether discount is available or not. Step 7. Arranging lodging and boating at different hotels. Step 8. Checks if some guest house is available for stay in dormitory. Whether the place of stay is near the place of visit and whether some discount is offered or not. Step 9. Arrangement of local transport. Step 10. To look for local tour operators to provide transport like a mini bus or a transport which can accommodate more people to cut down on cost. Step 11. Safety and security of all inmates during the trip. Step 12. She checks whether the time selected for visit is appropriate and the weather is conducive. Checks that the places are safe to visit, no high tide, or no water bodies, etc. If moving by water, whether safety jackets are provided by the operator or not. We can now design the flow diagram of the algorithm as shown in the adjacent flow chart. History. The actual term algorithm is often cited as originated from the 9th century Persian mathematician Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi. He is also known as the father of algebra. Making decisions through reasoning. We all make decisions in daily life whether we are at crossroads. Problems may be simple or complex, but we have to use our wisdom and experience to make the decisions. For simple problems, we may need a little time and for complex one, we may need more time so that the best possible alternate can be chosen to make the decision. Difficult situations will require more reasoning, skills and experience to solve problems. Let us understand this with a mathematical equation. Consider this mathematical expression. These are simple mathematical problems and with no or a little effort, we can find their solution. Now. Consider the following equation. This problem needs thinking about the computational rules of mathematics and breaking this into smaller parts and then combining the result to find the solution. We will apply Baud mass rule to give right solution for this mathematical problem. Let us take another example where you have to select two meals, both either veg or non veg, as per the choices available in the given table. Conditions There are certain conditions and rules to be followed by everyone before making the selection from the given list of recipes. Rules to select the combination are as follows. Each guest has to take only two recipes. Selection of one recipe from each section is compulsory. You can select either both the recipes as wedge or non wedge. Combination is not permitted. Let us take another example. Look at the following question. Find out what completes the figure matrix with the options. The main logical thinking steps in solving the above figure are 
task, study the problem carefully. Here, three shapes are given. We have to find out what comes next in the question mark box. Identify. Goal. To find the fourth figure in the matrix. Information. In the matrix, the first shape has two dots. The adjacent box has four dots and the third box has three dots. Condition. In the matrix, the right side box contains twice the number of dots in the left box. Solve. Now we will solve the puzzle using the given information and the given condition. Reasoning. The question mark box will have shape with 6 dots as 3 into 2 equals to 6. Solution. So, the solution is D option. This proves that with logical reasoning, any problem can be solved using the skills and experience. Using computational thinking for programming. When you develop computer programs, computational thinking enables you to work out exactly what to tell the computer to do and then convert it into a program by using an appropriate programming language. Importance of computational thinking. Computational thinking gives us the courage to solve complex problems and design systems that none of us can ever think of. Computational thinking fosters the following key skills in all of us. Problem solving. In computational thinking, it refers to solving problems with logical thinking using various computational models. This includes applying problem breakdown to identify problems and or generating alternative of them. At this level, students distinguish between problems and decide whether these problems can or cannot be solved computationally. Furthermore, students are able to evaluate a problem and specify appropriate criteria in order to develop applicable abstractions. Perseverance Students learn not to give up and not to be intimidated by the complexity of a problem and accomplish the task by following the principles of computational thinking. Building algorithms It involves the construction of step-by-step -step procedures for solving a particular problem. Selection of appropriate algorithmic techniques is a crucial part of thinking computationally as this develops abstractions robust enough that they can be reused to solve similar problems. Debugging It is analyzing problems and errors in logic or in activities. At this stage, students receive feedback on their algorithms and evaluate them and or strategies used. Debugging is central to both programming and computational thinking because it involves critical and procedural students design or run models as test beds to make decision about which circumstances to consider when completing their abstraction. Socializing It refers to the social aspect of computational thinking which involves coordination, cooperation and or competition during the stages of problem solving algorithm building, debugging, and simulation. This characteristic of computational thinking allows brainstorming and encourages assessment of incidents as well as strategy development among multiple parties. And so, socializing is one distinct feature of computational thinking that distinguishes it from traditional computer programming. Quick recall. Computational thinking is an approach to problem solving. Computational thinking involves the breaking down of a problem into smaller chunks, working on them individually and finally bringing them together to provide a solution to the problem at hand. Computational thinking involves problem-solving technique which includes logical reasoning, finding step-by-step -step solutions, and designing system in the final stage. Analysis is the process of understanding the problem, with the given conditions and constraints and defining the goals. Decomposition is breaking down data, processes, or problems into smaller, manageable parts for better understanding. Pattern recognition is observing patterns, trends, and regularities, uniformities or similarities in data. Abstraction is the process of filtering out details or components of the problems to focus on the relevant ones.
algorithm design is developing the step-by-step -step instructions for solving a problem and problems similar to it in order to finish the task. Difficult situations will require more reasoning, skills and experience to solve problems. Computational thinking enables us to work out exactly what to tell the computer to do and then convert it into a program. Computational thinking fosters problem solving, perseverance, building algorithms, debugging, simulation and socializing.